50 second intervals, 10 second breaks. You do what you can do, but live in the challenging zone. Live there. That's my that's my thing. Live there. <clears throat> let's let's get rock and roll and let's go back to the 90s. <laughs> Oh, what's happening there? That's weird. Hold on one second. Here we go. Take a nice big deep breath in. Squeeze your butt. Activate it right now, right? Here we go. Oh, look at pop it in, pop it in. Good morning, everybody. Let's roll. Deep breath in. Exhale. Hi, Jen. <laughs> Jump in. I'll just do a lot more inhales right here. One more. Shortness right away. Good. Big arm circles back. Back. Opening up that chest. Core becomes activated. Butt becomes activated. And reverse. Reverse. So you're going forward. You're scooping. It's almost like your arms are scooping something out. Good. Give me one more real big one. And then just... Open and close, open and close. Yay! Oh, yay! Jump in, we're just warming up. One more, big hug, end with a hug. Love thyself and spread those shoulder blades apart. Beautiful. Let's hit the hips. Big openers, big openers. Good, I want one more each side. And then bring it back opposite. Out and in. Core is engaged. Anytime you hit that one foot, you're destabilizing yourself. Hi, Patty! Yay! We're just warming up. Big step out and in. So anytime you put in, take your leg off the ground, you're doing a balance challenge. I want your arms up, fold over, walk out into a high plank. Bring it back. Beautiful. We're hitting our first little cardio. I want you guys to just skip. You can skip in place, or you can skip around your space. But just skip. Keep your shoulder blades down. Get a little air if you can. Your core is engaged, OK? And you're just skipping. Pretend you're at a playground. You're playing with your friends. Not a care in the world. Shoulders down your back. Good. Good, yes. Now we're gonna hit the Heisman. So it's one, two, three, crunch. One, two, three, side to side. So we're getting that lateral movement in. Yes. One, two, three, crunch. Be dramatic about it. <clears throat> Beautiful. Oh, let's get that blood flow. Blood flow. Woo! <clears throat> yes. Good job. Crunch that core. We're still warming up. I want blood flow. I want muscles warm. Oh, let's go back to skipping. Skip on the playground. Skip. Skip. Yes, nice and light and loose. Carefree, carefree right here. Good job, keep going. So the cardio circuits are 40 seconds of one move, 40 seconds of another, 40 seconds of another, 40 seconds of another. You got this. Carefree. Yes, last time, Heisman. So hit that lateral. You're moving side to side. You got three. Then a crunch. Really exaggerate that. Yes. Yes, good. Beautiful. Side to side. Good morning. Let's just kick Monday's annoying ass. Yes, that was your little cardio. Take a sip of water if you need it. We're going down on the ground. 
Oh, no, we're not. I lied. I lied. I lied. That's circuit two. Circuit one, we're up. We're up. First move. Front lunges. Three, two, one. Front lunge with me. Double twist over that leg that goes forward. Front lunge. Double twist. So as you hit that lunge, it's two little twists, right? So you hit that lunge, come over. When you're in that lunge, you take a nice step forward. You go down. That back leg drives straight down. Shoulders stay down your back. Good. I want you guys to see that. 99. I have to wear neon pants so I don't blend in to my furniture. <clears throat> Beautiful. Keep your shoulders down your back. Keep going. Good. You know how I feel about my slams. We're doing a rainbow slam, side to side. So you're starting here. You're picking up those rainbow colors over your head. Slam them. Up and over. Slam. Your feet are rotating with you and facing the side that you're now facing. They're going with you in direction. And really uh, crunch that core. You have something you can throw at home? Do it. Bam. Bam. Squeeze that core. Throw it. Pick up speed if you can. You have to use your core and stabilize your mo movement or you'll topple over. So make sure that core is engaged. You got this. Good. Yes. Get ready. We're going to squat. I'll show you the move. We're squatting. Lateral walk, two walks. And you can come up to your toes or you can jump. Squat, two side walks. You can jump it or come up to your toes. Then come back down, walk to the other side. Squat, two lateral walks, you stay low. Good, low those legs up, pop up. You can go to your toes or you can jump. Lateral, keep those shoulders low. Yes, navel the spine, shoulders down your back. If you're jumping, you land in that same position. Your quads should be burning up from this. Yes, those are our three. Get ready for that front lunge with a twist over. You got this. You do. Front lunge, twist, twist. Twist is too much. Front lunge, twist, twist. Don't add the twist. If you find yourself losing your balance, take a smaller lunge step. Don't go as far down. You work up to that level of depth, range of motion. <laughs> I'm gonna have to sit. Let's go. Shoulders down your back. Squeeze your booty. Always squeeze the booty. Squeeze it. Beautiful. Push back. We got this. We got this. Blast your own music if you want. Do whatever you got to do to get yourself in the zone. Mind your muscles. Beautiful. Get ready for our rainbow slams. Deep breath in. Set yourself up. Start over on one side. Then you're picking up the bottom of the rainbow. Bring it over. Squeeze your butt. Squeeze your core. Slam it. At the gym, we do these big med balls. Bam, bam, down. You got this. So pretend you have a huge 18 pound ball in your hand. Slam it. You got this. I want that core involved in your rainbow slam. So is your butt. You got this. Yes. Last one. Good job. Okay, guys. Go. Get 
ready for that squat walk. Okay, get ready. Squat down, two steps to the side. You can either come up to your toes or jump. Get back down that squat. I want most of your time right in that squat. Chest is up, that means your eyes are up. Yes, navel to spine. Stay low, stay low, feet are I put my arms back before I jump. You got this. Load it up. Fire up. Yes. Strong back. I want navel to spine here. Navel to spine. You got this. Keep those eyes up. Shoulders up. Yes. You did it. That's round three. We got to go through it one more time. Front lunge. Get ready. Three, two, one. Front lunge. Twist. Twist. Up. Front lunge. Twist. Twist. Up. You make sure you're breathing. Twist. And when you twist, cinch your knit, knit your muscles together in your core. Booty's fired up. Go through the checkpoints. You're driving your back knee down straight so that your front knee does not go over your toes. Good. Even push it over. Beautiful. Push. Good job. Yes. Last one. Beautiful. Got this. Get ready. Rainbows. Beautiful rainbows. Set yourself up. Up over. Squeeze. Feel it travel all up your core. Starts right down by your hips. Travel all the way up to your chest. Hit your obliques. Bam. Squeeze it. Pound it. Get that anger out. <sighs> Squeeze everything. Breathe as you slam. You exhale. Keep going. Good. Get it. Oh, I wanted to get challenging. It's not challenging. Got a little faster. Yes. Beautiful. Okay. Get ready for your squat walks. Lateral stop, squat walks. Squat. Walk it over two. Get up there. Yes. Yes. Maybe you're going to speed it up a little bit. Oh, look at you, Michelle, with the bands on. Damn right. Put those bands on if you got them. That is perfect. That is awesome. That makes me happy. <sighs> Keep going. I want, you're gonna start getting tired. Navel spine. Don't let it relax. Navel spine. <sighs> yes, you're almost there. Shoulders down your back. <sighs> Beautiful. Yes. Yes. You got a little 20 second break here. Take a sip of water if you need it. Good job. Good job. We're gonna do a little cardio. Michelle, you're feeling feisty. You keep that band on. Get ready. We're gonna do jumping jacks, but every third is a star jack. So that's airborne. Get ready. One, two. Three, up. One, two, three, up. So pretend you're a cheerleader. You have to really squeeze your core. Two, three. If you wanna just stay in jumping jacks or step outs, do it. You do you. You're feeling feisty? Get your feet off the ground. You're feeling spicy? Get your feet off the ground. Get 
Good. Make sure you're breathing. Good. I want to tap back. Other leg comes up. One leg goes down. Other leg comes up. Remember what leg's going up, because that's the one you're going to send back next time. Send that leg back, tap the ground, knee up. If you can hop off the ground, hop off the ground. Try and keep your chest up by keeping your eyes up as you go down to tap that ground. Yes. Get that heart rate back up. Squeeze that core. Stabilize our muscles. Activate. Come back. Up, jump and jacks. Two, three, start back. Right into it. One, two, three, airborne. Two, three, airborne. Yes, yes. Step it out if you want. Squeeze your core, strong arms. You can try one, get one off the ground, it's kind of fun. You got this. Let's go. You're almost there. Yes. Tap the other foot back. Other foot comes up. Keep that chest up. Push through. You're spiking your heart rate right here, which is good. Tap it back. Keep that proud chest. Keep those eyes up. Shoulders down your back. You got this. Push through it. You're breathing. Keep moving. Yes. You got this. Last cardio burst. And this cardio burst. <laughs> we got one more. Yes. Good job. Let's get your heart rate down a little bit. Take a big deep breath in. Exhale. We are going down to the ground. Get ready. Get ready. Take a deep, big deep breath in. You are hitting that low plank. I want your arms under your shoulders. Toes go back. Get that booty down. You can give yourself a little space on those feet. If you need to put your knees down, put your knees down. Then I want you to take an arm up. Single arm balance. Keep your hips square to the ground. Keep your head neutral. Good. Hold it. Shoulders are square to the ground. You can put your knees down. Switch arms. Switch arms. Squeeze that booty. Press away the ground. Balance on the other side. Your hips are square and squeezed. Your legs are fired up. Beautiful. We are staying down on the ground for this whole circuit. You're starting off in a high plank. Hands directly underneath your uh, shoulders. I want two walks to the side, lateral walk. Then I want a push up. Okay, walk to the other side. You can put your knees down for that push up. Okay, you can totally do that. And then bring them back up for when you walk with that high plank. Keep your wrists underneath. Keep your head neutral. Press that ground away, okay? Exhale as you press that ground away. Squeeze that booty. Press, really picture yourself pressing away. You got this. You're under 10 seconds, you got this. Good job. Now you're back. We are rolling, okay? <laughs> My floor needs to be vacuumed, so it's gonna all stick to me right now. I want you in that hollow hold, and I want you to squeeze your booty, squeeze your core, roll it over. Don't use your hands. And then I want four bicycles. One, two, three, four. Arms out. Roll, squeeze, don't use your hands. Set that hollow hold up. One, two, three, four. Arms out, feet out, roll. Ah. Do not use your arms. Two, three, four. Out, roll, squeeze that core, squeeze that booty. Ah. One, two, 
Low plank hold. Get in there. Low plank. Just bring that arm up as soon as you're stabilized. Hips to the ground. Neutral spine. Keep that booty down. You got this. Keep your shoulders square. Beautiful. Hold it. You're breathing. Your navel is too fine. Your booty is tucked. Your legs are fired up. Switch arms. Switch arms. I have my arms on my leg. Neutral spine. Tuck that core. You should feel your core fire up. Neutral spine. You got this. You're under five seconds. Hold it. Hold it. You can do it. Yes. Good job. Get ready for that high plank walk. Okay, you're walking over. Two walks, two lateral walks to a push up. So walk it, walk it. Then you have that push up. You push the ground away. Yes. Two walks over. Core is engaged. Squeeze that booty. Everything's fired up. Walk it over. Good. Squeeze. Yes. Good. Getting stronger. Keep going. You can get at least two more in. Keep those abdominal muscles very involved. Beautiful. Squeeze. You can do one more. Yes. Walk it. Yes. Good job. Good job. Get ready for your rollovers. These are fun because you just don't know what you're going to pick up off the ground on your sweaty body. How ho. Roll. Oh, don't use your arms. Four bicycles. One, two, three. Energy out of your heels. Four. Back in that hollow hold. Core squeeze. Booty squeeze. One, two, three, four. Back out the hollow. Squeeze everything. Roll it over. Yes. Okay. I'm rolling into furniture. Not the best rollover driver right here. Keep going. Roll. Roll. Beautiful. Yes, knee and elbow. Come together. Four bicycles. Roll it back over. Yes. Uh, one, two, three, four. Yes. Good job. Back to that first low plank. Third time through, baby. Roll them right through this. Let's go. Set yourself up in that beautiful plank. Find your stability. As soon as you feel locked in, pick that arm up. Neutral spine. Keep those shoulders square to the ground. You can totally have your knees down here. Squeeze those hips. Actually, you squeeze your butt around those hips. Lower core. And switch. Bring your arm down. Transfer that weight in your mind over and the other three points touching the ground. And then you bring your arm up. Keep those hips square to the ground. Shoulders square to the ground. They're parallel. Squeeze that booty. Don't let it come up. If it's coming up, put your knees down. It is okay. Form is more important than being on all three. Yes. Good job. Get ready for our high plank push ups. You know you can do this, right? Cher just said that. You are strong. High plank. Walk over one, two. All you need is you. Let's go. Press that ground away. Beautiful. Press it up. Come back. One, two. Oh, yes. Press that ground away. Beautiful. Do this at your tempo. You're feeling like, oh, yeah, I can go faster. Go faster. Squeeze that core. Press that ground away. Press it away. You got this. Give me one more. Yes, you got this. Beautiful. Good job. Get ready. Last rollovers with the bicycles. 
Find your hollow hold. Find that hollow hold. So you scoop your belly, your arms are tight and out, strong and out. Squeeze it, roll. Oh, no, use your arms to get yourself over. Two, energy out your heels. Beautiful, find that hollow hold. Roll it back over. Oh, good job. One, two, three, four. Energy out your feet, back into hollow. Roll back over. Oh. One, two, three, four, good job. Let's go, you got this, keep rolling. Ah, oh my gosh, my workout stuck to me. <laughs> two, three, four, hollow, roll. Ah, squeeze everything. Two, three, four, give me another roll. Yes, good job. Oh my gosh, my workout stuck to my arms. Okay, that was it. We're going back up to a cardio. You got 20 seconds though. Good job. I hope your core really appreciated that love we just gave it. Because that was a lot of core love. Look at my sway. Okay, we're coming back up. Take a sip of water if you need it. All right. We're starting with fast feet. Right here. Fast feet. Fast feet. Fast feet. Get a little wider. Get a little wider. Navel to spine. Shoulders down your back. I want you to give me a little jump. Fast feet. Fast feet. Fast feet. Go faster. Jump. You got this. You got this. Jump. You want to feel feisty when you're junkie? Give me a tough jump. You want to hang out right here in fast feet and don't jump at all. It's totally fine. Good job. Now we're going to the squat jack. So down, tap it out, tap it out, tap it out. Again, you find your tempo, right? You do you. Yes. Keep that chest up. Don't let it drop. Tap that ground. You got this. Good. Ooh, my calves are fired up. Send that booty back. Good job, good job, good job. Oh, fast feet. Fast feet. Fast feet. Give me jump. Fast feet, fast feet, fast feet. Get faster. Oh, jump. You got this. You got this. Jump it. Woo. You got this. Jump. Jump. Give me a drop. And squat jacks. Right into it. Chest up. Chest up. You don't want to jump. You can just step out side to side. Just send that booty back. Tap the ground. Yes. Oh, good job. Good job, good job, good job. You're almost through this cardio burst. And this is your last cardio burst of the entire workout. There wasn't room and put another one at the end. Yes. Good job. Good job. Take a sip of water and then we'll do our last circuit. Let me see what I got. Oh, we're on the floor. Back on the floor for more. More, more, more. More floor. Hit your bear. Join me in bear. Good job. Right here. Press that ground away. Hands are underneath your core, uh, shoulders. Neutral spine. Knees under your hips. Navel spine. I want one arm up. Reach. Back down. Other arm up. Reach. Beautiful. Leg. Send it back. Bring it back in. Other leg. Get used to transferring weight here, okay? 
So without loading a sigh. So you gotta play with that distribution. You've gotta use your mind in distributing your weight evenly. Good. Press that ground away. Give me a leg. So we did an arm reach, arm reach, now leg reach, leg reach. Beautiful, look at that. Turn over. We're doing a bridge to a crunch. So your heels are close to your feet or your butt. Squeeze it up, bring it back down, and then I want to crunch. Okay, put your hands back down, squeeze your booty, put it back down on the ground, crunch. You can even leave your hands by your head. Squeeze, bring it back down, crunch. Good job. That is it. You can do your own tempo here. Good job. Up. Squeeze that booty, put the booty back down, bring your shoulders and chest off the ground. Crunch it up. So we go from our butt, our lower back, to our upper abdominals. Squeeze, press that lower back into the mat as you do your crunch. Beautiful. Squeeze that booty. Perfect. Roll over. You're going to be in a low donkey. So you're in a forearm. Navel the spine right here. And then I want you to bring your foot up. Heel is going up to the ceiling. Come back down. Don't let that toe touch the ground or knee touch the ground. I'm sorry. And open up to a hydrant. Again here. Weight completely evenly distributed across. Beautiful. Up. Squeeze that booty, heels going, energy up to the ceiling, then knee out to the side. Don't let that knee touch the ground. Beautiful, give me one more hydrant right here. Good job. Switch to the other side. Okay, so knee up, come back down through and open. Beautiful, navel to spine. Your weight is evenly distributed across your forearms, your elbows, and your back knee. Heel up. Good. Squeeze that booty. Good job. Going back to those bare extensions. So, set yourself up. We're really working with just evenly distributing our weight over here. So, bring your knees up off the ground. Press that ground away. Activate that core. Reach one arm up and back down. Go into the other arm. Really keeping your butt down. Do not let it creep up. You gotta pay attention to a lot of things right now and extend the other leg. Beautiful. Set yourself up, navel spine, reach that arm out. Beautiful, bring it back down. Other arm, do not load up your body. You're right in the middle the whole time. Do not lean to one side to hold that weight. It stays even. Beautiful. So real minding your muscles and extend that arm. Beautiful. Navel spine, neutral spine. You can play with adjusting your feet, right? You gotta maybe move your feet around so you don't load up. Send that leg back, good job. Get back on your back. Get ready for that bridge to crunch. Get your heels close to your booty, send that butt up, squeeze it, bring it back down, place it on the ground, bring your chest up. Beautiful, squeeze your butt. Good job, place it back on the ground, lower back goes into the mat as you exhale. Squeeze that butt, place it back down, Bring your chest up. Good job. Squeeze. Yes. Good. Anybody wants to stay around for some chest and back after? I will be doing it. Good job. Good, keep going. Keep going, you're almost there. Squeeze that butt. Then you peel your shoulders off the ground, keeping your elbows nice and wide. They're not helping in anything. They're just out there for decoration. Good job. Beautiful. Get into that low plank, low forearm donkey. Donkey. My husband and I constantly discuss the pronunciation of donkey. Okay, ready? Heel up, squeeze that booty, bring it back down. Don't let that knee touch the ground. Open up to the side for that hydrant. Navel the spine, right? Neutral spine. Don't let your head drop down. Keep it neutral. Squeeze that booty. Good job. Give me one more. Good. Switch sides. Back. Yep. Don't let that knee hit the ground. Navel to spine. 
I want, again, we're on the ground, right? Like we're pressing the ground away, okay? Actively pressing the ground away. That activates your shoulders. So they're working. You're not just hanging out. Supporting your body. Yes. Beautiful. Last time through. Let's hit that bear. Go through the mechanics of that bear. Hands are underneath your shoulders. You're pressing the ground away. Knees are underneath your hips. They come off the ground. Load the, everything up. Bring one hand up. Reach. Navel the spine. Keep that butt down. Flat back. Other arm. Beautiful. Okay, get ready. Load and send that leg back. Really squeeze out through the As you extend that leg all the way back, you're pressing the wall away. And back. And arm. See if you can pick up a little bit of speed. You move that transition of weight faster. Press it back. But you do you. You do your tempo. Good. Reach. Reach. Yes. Press that back wall away. Press it away. Good job. Good job. Bring it back on your back. Bridge to crunch. You got this. You're almost done. There's no cardio after this. We're just stretching. So, bridge it. And chest up. Bridge. Chest up. Squeeze that butt. Press that lower back into the mat. Oh, yeah. Good. When you put your butt back down on the ground, don't flop it, right? Just place it. It's that control that you're still gaining muscle strength. Keep going. Squeeze that booty. Chest up. Peel those shoulder blades off the mat. Good job. Tuck that chin as you come up. Don't like reach with your head. You're reaching with your chest. Anytime you peel anything off the ground, it's your chest breathing. Good job. We just have that low forearm donkey kick. Okay. So find that. Get your booty is nice and up in the air. I don't say that often. Peel up. Down. Don't let that knee touch the ground. Navel spine. Bring that leg out to the side for a hydrate. Beautiful. Keep your neutral spine. Energy out your shoulders into the mat. Down your arms. Pressing that mat away. Good job. Finish this movement and switch sides. Navel spine. You are really squeezing your butt, especially on that donkey. Like you're pressing something up with your heel of your foot. Energy out your heel. Energy out your elbows into the mat. And that energy comes from your shoulders. It comes from your body. It's coming from inside your body. You have all the energy inside your body. Is that time? That time. I just wanted to keep going. Good job. Send yourself back in the child pose. That was such a peaceful way to end this workout. Send your booty back. And energy out your fingertips. Find length in your spine. Good job. Good. Let's just come up to our knees real quick. I just want to do, I want to pick up, I want to do a 90-90 hip flexor. Let's get those hip flexors. Oh, now you can't see me. <laughs> Wait, stay on the ground. <laughs> like this. Squeeze out booty. Squeeze out booty. Press it forward. Shoulders down your back. Good job. Switch your legs. You could also do the standing. If you're standing, you could be in like a deep lunge and pressing that forward if you want your knee off the ground. Totally fine. Just really press your booty forward. Good job. Come on up to standing. And actually, I want you to give me a nice deep runner's lunge. Step forward. Get in that hip flexor a little bit more. Good job. Put your hands up and come down and fold over. If the ground is too far away, then go right to your quad. If you can do it, get down to the ground. And then open that arm up. Look up at the ceiling. And then come back down. But I want you to turn to look at your other shoulder, okay? And then come back up. Open up that chest. 
and then come back down and play. Oh, hey, high shoulder. Good job. Put your hand back down on the ground. Send that leg back. Bring your other leg forward and just come up. Nice deep runner stretch. Beautiful arms come up. You can bring them to your thigh, your quad, or you bring them down to the ground. Whatever works for you. Whatever foot is forward, that arm comes up. Look at it. And then come down and turn into your arm like you're hugging yourself. Back up. Lots of hugs. And back down. Good. Put your hand on the ground. Send your foot back. And walk up into a down dog. Bring that booty up to the ceiling. Press your heels into the ground for a nice posterior stretch. Send your hips up high. Lengthen your spine. And then walk your hand into your feet. And roll it up. Roll it up. Roll it up. Yes. Good job. You're done. Thank you, God. <laughs> Thank you, friends of mine. Thank you. Give me a Monday picture. <laughs> That's what my Monday feels like, and I don't know why. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Wait, I got one more. Give it to me. All right. Let's do arms. Oh my God, Patty, your girls. Thank you, Tara. Come on, let's arm it out. I'm going right back into it. I'm not even stopping for a hot second. Hi, Sylvia. Hi, Natanya. Corey, hey, I'm jumping in that pool with you, Corey. Corey, you're not in Kansas anymore. <laughs> no, I'm in Rochester. Oh my Thank God. God. <laughs> Corey. Thank that God. Was, I want to jump through my computer right now. <laughs> I'll catch you. <laughs> <laughs> you would catch me. Well, you all would catch you. Oh, all right. Paige has got her weights out. <laughs> all right. I'm muting you guys. We're going to be on the floor for, I think, all of them. Yes. We're going to do a chest press. We're going to do a pullover. And then we're going to do rows. So we're hitting the floor. So get comfortable on the floor. On the floor, I said. The floor. <laughs> That's all. Oh man, Patty, I'm so glad you're back. Okay, let's get going. Let me see. All right. Oh, I gotta put my computer on the ground. I like big butts. All right. When my boys were in like first grade, they were obsessed with this song and they actually wrote it down in their notebook and the teacher circled a big heart around it and sent it home. Sent it home to me. Okay, so we're just gonna do a chest press. So you can have your legs bent, you can have your knees up, you can have your feet on the ground, just press that lower back into the mat. I want your arms not at a full goal post out. I want them just slightly like a five, 10 degrees below your shoulders. And you are just pressing up and you are, Exhaling as you press up, okay? We're gonna do 15 here. This is four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. I'm gonna change these presses up a little bit each time we go through. Five, four, three, two, one, beautiful. So what's really challenging with that home work at Total Bodies is um, at home without resistance is getting pooling exercises in. So we do a lot of push, like push-ups and stuff. So put your two weights together or one weight, you can hold it. You can hold the weight and squeeze it in on the sides if you want. Um, and we're going back behind our head. So now I want, as you come over, I want you to pretend you're pulling something over. You are not pretending, you actually are pulling something over. So come back and pull, okay? This is, you're using your core and you're using your lat muscle. And your shoulders, squeeze that core of yours and make sure your lower back is on the mat. Beautiful. Back and pull it over. It's like you have a rope in your hands and you're like pulling that rope. Good. And you're exhaling. 
Good job. And this is a very hard muscle to get into your lap muscle when you're at home doing a total body without machines. Let's go. Or weights. Let's do four more because I didn't count any of those reps. Four. Three. Two. One. Beautiful. We are going over into a high plank. So you could be on a high plank or you could have your knees on the ground. Totally fine. Or you're up. Okay. I'll wait for you guys to roll over. And we are doing rows. Two. So again, you're pulling. Pull it straight back up like you're starting a lawnmower. Squeeze that core. Let's say it's six. Eight. Pull it straight up. Keep a neutral spine. That's 10. 12. 14. 16. 18. Pull it. 20. Good job. Put those knees on the ground. Good job. We are turning back over onto our backs. We're doing more presses. That was round one. So this time when you press, I want your weights together. They are over your chest. So if you're holding one weight, you're pressing on, on the side. We're getting very narrow into our chest press. Okay? And you're pressing up for one, two, three, four, five. I want you to hold that sixth one up, and I just want you to lower real slow. One, two, three. Press that seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. On the twelve, hold it up. Twelve, hold. Lower. One, two, three. Real slow. Good job. Let's go up. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, hold it up, hold it up, and one, two, three, lower, we're going to do six more, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold it, hold it, lower, 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 beautiful, okay, we're going to keep them together, release that weight for a minute. Give my hands a little stretch. Good job. Pull your weight and it goes over your head. Again, you can bring your legs up here. It's totally up to you. One, two, three, four, five. Try and get that weight as far back as you can. It's even okay if it taps the ground. Six. Lower back of the mat. Seven. Eight. Oh my God, nine. You guys just work the funk out of my brain in the best way. Ten. Let's do five more. Five. Four. Lower back in the mat. Three. Two. One. Beautiful. Good job. Roll over. We got those rows. Give your hands a little love. Release them. They're bothering you from gripping the weight. And even when you do this, you can hold, you can have your weights. So if it bothers you to be on your wrist, but this is actually what a lot of trainers will tell you to do if your wrists do bother you, if they're on the ground. But you can come out to the side. You don't have to keep your hands on your wrist the whole time as you go into those rows, okay? You can put it down, place it back down on the ground. Join me. Let's go for 20. That was two, three, four, five, six. Keep your hips stable. Seven. You're pulling. Eight. Nine. Ten. Ten. Pull. Squeeze that core. Don't let your head drop. Nine. Eight. You're pulling. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Good job. We're going into our final round. Oh, I think I reversed something. Okay. We're doing a chest press this time. 
So again, your feet can be on the ground, up, however you want them. I want, we are gonna go between a wide, which is right here, and an arrow. So we're gonna start up, one, and then bring it in. Actually, as you bring it down, turn it and come down an arrow. Press it, come out to wide, down. Press it up, bring it into narrow, down. Press it back up, come back to wide, good. Press it, push it together, down. Press it up, lower back in the mat, you come to wide, and down. Bring it together, good job. Press it up, yes! Lower back in the mat. Oh, let's say that was five. I think it was a little more, but that's all right. We can handle this. Our chest muscles are strong. Because we got this. We got this. I have to thank you from the bottom of my heart. I was feeling a little down today, which is normal, right? But I feel leveled out. Thank you. Press it. Press it up. Good job. Press it up. Yes. Press. Down. Let's do three more. Three. I did not count these. This is just good job. One more. Last one. Down. Beautiful. Okay, let's get ready to go over ahead with these. So line them up. I'm going to bring my legs up. It adds a slight challenge if you bring your knees up to tabletop. Okay, and over. One. Really pull. Two. Go to the point where it's like, oh god, that's hard. Three. Okay. Oh, four. That you really have to recruit your lateral muscle. Five. Get in those lats, which is hard. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten, we got five more. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Beautiful. Good job. Good job. Roll over. Last round. Last round. Our high plank rows. Oh my God, Garber, your outfit is amazing. I love that. Okay, come into your high plank. And you can hold on to your weights or not. That's totally up to you. Squeeze that booty nice and tight. I have a nice wide stance on my feet to stabilize those hips from moving. Okay, and let's row. One, two, three. Neutral spine. Four, five. Really pull up. Six, seven, eight, nine. <clears throat> 10, 10, core engaged, nine, eight, seven, squeeze that booty, six, five, four, three, two, one, beautiful, good job, good job, here we are, 